We've got Joe in the chair and we're in the new shop on Christchurch Road. So Joe, what are we doing for you? A uh, skin fade, maybe a bit of a trim of the beard. I think you fancy going a bit shorter. Yeah. But just leave skin some... Skin fade? <laughs> oh yeah. man, it's what we do. <laughs> it's all we do. <laughs> So yeah, so skin fade on the side, <laughs> keeping the same style, side parting, yeah, swept across, so. yeah. and then with the beard, obviously, I take Keep it, leave the tash, sure, but a little, 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 little bit of shape, sort of around there, yeah, line up the cheeks and everything. Nice. Lovely. A little bit of length off the top as well? Just a bit, just enough so you can brush it in. <laughs> so going with the number two, and just clear all of the weight so that when I go in for the zero, it's just a lot easier to clear the hair away. So what I tend to do is follow the baseline round the side of the head. And this is just an indication to me, so I know never to go too high past the clippers at that point. The rest of it above the two will be all scissor. So that's all I'm doing now is just still clearing out all the weight. Just follow that baseline and match it up with the back of the head where the O bone is. And with the top of the hair ever so slightly, just tidy up the edges just so they feather in a little bit before I scissor them. I go in with my, uh, my little trimmers. Just go for the zero just above the top of the beard so we don't want to take too much of that off just yet. And then just following the shape of the hair, just a little bit shy underneath the temple. Uh, I'll have a look. That's why every time I post the party, I put the postcode. I don't think people can find the shop without the postcode. Is that why you're late to it? You're late to it. You're late to it. You're late to it. You're late to it. I'll be here before you. Tuesday. No, no. Say Thursday. Good morning. Hi. I'm not a cat. I'm not a cat. You're with me? Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry about that. I'm sorry about that. Have a seat on one of the chairs. So yeah, same again, just following the zero all the way around and just matching it up with the back. So just going in with my half guard. And like I said, same again, just working up slowly. Same again, but building up the layers. I work my sort of um, fades based on the sort of uh, the guidelines that I put in, so. For example, now moving, <clears throat> moving the half around the head, it's bumping the line up, but now I know that's faded from the zero to the half, and then vice versa, go from the one, one and a half, all the way into the two. So now just go with the half, fully open guard, so it's now just under a one, and then slowly make my way up. You look more of a bike person rather than a car person. <laughs> yeah. I can't ride a motorcycle, which is probably why I'm still alive. <laughs> so yeah, now I just go for my one. And as I work my one round, now I'm blending it into the two, just slowly work it every now and then, just stretching out the lever. Yeah, right. He is. And it's usually on Sundays. Yeah. Oh, there's an auction, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I know, I know. For a refund. Really? Yeah. Really? Okay. Hey, hey, hey. But I found somewhere now. I'm going to have a party in the garage, right now. This is lovely. Thanks, man. Look at this. So I'm very particular when it comes to this sort of thing, so I'm now going to go through with my Osters just to clear out the little blemishes in his. Salt and pepper style hair. <laughs> Goodies. Goodies, 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 Goodies,
Yeah, Vibran. He had a huge mustache. This is stories with Richie. He was illegally chopping down. I mean, he's a continuity. He was illegally chopping down on the sandwich trees. They were all after him all the time, right? But the locals loved him. So what I'm going to do now is just scissor over comb. Normally, I'd take the clippers and clipper over it, but because obviously I don't want to take it too high and I don't want it to look too boxed, I want to have it sort of a relaxed finish. Then I just sort of, with the scissors, just ever so slightly, just start tapering it out. Oh wow. <laughs> I didn't know, I didn't know it was a I've been in Brighton I've been in Brighton already, I'm battered, I haven't even started. Not bad. Oh, we're being really cheeky. I was changing toilet seats oh, no, and fixing old ladies' taps four or five years ago. And plumber's life. Oh, is that what you were doing? Yeah, I used to be a plumber, worked with my old man for about four or five years. Yeah. And then just decided uh, it wasn't oh, my cup of tea. Well, they've got, they've so how many have you been doing this? Doing this now, three years this year it'll be. Yeah. Well, actually, well, yeah, September, three years this month. Yeah. But no, it's been really good. So I've worked for Gentleman Rogues now for just over two years. Okay. And uh, yeah, a lot of opportunities have arisen from that. Yeah, of course. Yeah, exactly, it's really good. So you gradually work around the side of the head, just scissor over comb and just trying to soften it all up and blend it all into the, the clipper fade underneath. <laughs> so I've got a, uh, a sort of in-house bet with the boys. To, they said that they didn't reckon I could go a whole year without having single haircut. So I thought, you know what, sod it, let's give it a go, yeah. So yeah, I'm, I'm almost there. What do you win? Nothing, respect. just respect and long hair. <laughs> what will you do? Will you be I hopefully want to keep it now. I want to go to about my shoulders, I reckon. Oh, see what, I've never had it, so I want to see what it does. On the top, how much would you like yeah. to snip? Yeah. yeah, about an inch or so, yeah? yeah. I also have really long hair. Yeah. Like my fringe used to come down sort of like my sternum. Look at that. So yeah, it's really long. Yeah. I've had most yeah. haircuts, really. So the other part of the track is on the other side. All I'm doing now is just snipping into the top. Not taking too much off because it's quite fine. So you just by like snipping in the, the edges, soften it all up. I always find when you when your hair gets a little bit thin on the ends by keeping it a little bit shorter, it looks, looks a little bit more fuller. The lights come from factoring Glasgow. The two bushes blocks come from the same bushes. So now just tidying up the hair on the sides so you can just follow this little uh, bit here. Three generations of butchers working there. And they had a bakery, bakery and butchers, and it shut, it shut down. And the um, guy wouldn't sell them because they were just like found the air moves in the end. He was like, what are you doing with what we're going to do? Yeah. And just slightly yeah, yeah. just hover over the edges. This just softens up the harsh line between the scissors and the clippers, but it still gives good shape to the head as well. So with the beard then, we're just going to sort of take a little bit of the length out, tidy up the cheeks and everything, yeah? Just soften everything up. Yeah. Do you want the sideburns pointed or would you prefer them faded? I don't mind if, it, if it's just the same as this. So, oh, what do you mean? Yeah, on these bits here. So you can either have it so it goes into a point or I would personally recommend just sort of fading it yeah, out a little bit. So it's a bit softer. So what I'm going to do is just comb the beard out. And then just follow the shape just to get rid of all these wispy hairs. And then same again with the bottom, comb it all out and all the little hairs that are left. Trim them. Yeah. 
So now that I've trimmed the side, what I tend to do is just comb the beard out and then just pull it slightly off with a slight sort of angle as well and then you just see what bits you need to trim so it just graduates down towards the jaw. This is my uh, quiet stage when it comes to doing beers, it's like sculpting, so <laughs> just get into my zone. So how much of the length off at the bottom would you like to take? So obviously just by creating the shape here, you want to sort of take about half inch or so, yeah, fingers worth. a little bit more. You know, cause I don't like the way it curls here. It yeah, so just me. trim it down to like the strongest point. So yeah, yeah. good about a finger's worth then. Yeah, I like it. So just slowly work my way through. Just going bit by bit. Putting in my baseline along the bottom of the beard and then just matching the two sides together. I always work one side first, so once I've got my lining along the bottom, work on one side and then match the other side up. It's easier to see, the, see them being symmetrical that way. So my clippers just slowly start tapering in the sides. So yeah, with my zero guard, just slowly working the lever. So it just tapers in from the skin fade into the side of the beard. So all I'm doing now is just literally trimming up a few of the cheek hairs, not pushing the line any further down than it already is. Just tidying up his natural look. Sharpen up on the sides gives you the shape with a fade on the top. Cool. Happy? Yeah. Beardbrain is a premium men's grooming company with products not only for your beard, but also your hair and body. Do yourself a favor and head over to beardbrand.com and take care of yourself. Or you can stick around and watch a few more of our awesome videos.